Okay, the objective of this screencast is to write molecular, complete, and net ionic equations for double replacement reactions. Little review, reactions and solution. When we have ionic compounds dissolving in water, they dissociate, meaning they break up into their ions. So if we look at two examples, sodium chloride in water is going to break up into the sodium ion and the chloride ion in solution. Magnesium chloride will break up into the magnesium ion plus two charge because it's in group two and two chloride ions. Okay. When we represent ionic compounds in double replacement reactions, we can write them using complete and net ionic equations. We're going to use an, as an example the reaction between silver nitrate and magnesium chloride. As we've seen before, to predict what the products would be, we take the um, anions and cations and basically switch places. I'm going to write the products down here. Oops. Theoretically, because I'm not going to have enough room to write them next to it. I would have silver chloride and magnesium nitrate. Now in order for that reaction to occur, I either have to precipitate a solid, make a liquid, or produce a gas. And there is actually a fourth thing called a transfer of electrons. So for this, looking at the solubility rules, Magnesium nitrate has nitrate in it. That's always soluble, so that would be remain in solution. And then the sodium, the silver chloride. Chloride is normally soluble except when it's with silver or lead. So this would be my precipitate, and I would have a reaction. Okay, to balance the equation, I have to put a two in front of here and a two in front of there. Okay, those are all things that you should be able to do at this point. Now. What we want to do is show a complete ionic equation, meaning if these substances exist in, as ions in solution, I need to write them as ions in solution. Okay. So silver nitrate, I do know that that's soluble, so I would have two silver ions and two nitrate ions in solution. We're going to assume that these are in solution, so we don't have to write that state of matter. I'm going to react that with magnesium chloride that is also soluble, so I will have one magnesium ion and two chloride ions. When they react, I am going to form that precipitate I keep that together because it does exist in solution as an ionic compound in its solid form. Then the magnesium nitrate is soluble, so I would show that like this. Now if we look at this, there are a couple ions that don't participate in the reaction. This nitrate ion and the magnesium ion exist in the same phase and state in the products as they do in the reactants. Those are called spectators. So the magnesium ion and the, and the nitrate ion are called spectators because all they're doing is looking. They're not actively participating in the reaction. Okay. When you write a complete ionic, you do include those, but for the most part, we're really not concerned with what the spectators are. What we need to know is what is actually going on in the reaction. Who is participating? What, is my, what are my reactants? What are my products? To write that, we write what's called a net ionic, and we only write the ions that are participating in the reaction, that being my silver, sorry, oh dear, where did I go? Here I am, sorry. 
my silver ion and my chloride ion reacting to form my silver chloride solid. And I can actually reduce this That's called a net ionic, where I only write the ions that are actively participating in the reaction and the products formed. By the way, if I go back up to this first equation here, this is called a molecular equation. Okay. So let's look at a video and see what actually is happening in a double replacement reaction, specifically looking at lead nitrate, which is soluble, and potassium iodide, soluble as well. But I form the precipitate lead iodide and the um, potassium and nitrate ions still stay in solution. Um, so looking at this little video clip. You can see the lead ion and the nitrate ions in solution as well as the potassiums and the iodide in solution. We're going to take those two solutions and mix them together. And then taking our molecular scope. Look at what's going on in the um, atomic level seeing what these ions actually do. So they're floating around. The ones that are going to be actively in the reaction are in the front. The spectators are in the back. Okay, and you can see them form. The only thing I don't like about this is that they don't show them forming that whole crystalline structure. Okay, um, What they really should be showing is um, Lead forming with the iodide, lead this whole crystalline structure should be shown, not just those little not just one formula unit because it kind of makes you think that it is those are molecules. They are not. They are forming this whole big crystalline structure. Okay. So, for practice, we're going to write the complete and the total, I'm sorry, the complete and the net ionic equation for the reaction between magnesium sulfate and calcium chloride. We're also going to write the molecular equation. So, pause the screencast. I'll write those and then we come back. I'll go through that fairly quickly. Okay, you should be back. Okay, these are in solution and these are both soluble solutions. For the double replacement, I'm going to switch partners. I'll form magnesium chloride and the calcium sulfate. Looking at my solubility rules, Chlorine is soluble, except with silver or lead. It's not with either of those, so magnesium chloride is soluble. And then calcium sulfate. Sulfate is um, soluble, except when it's with calcium. And my kitty cat is on my solubility rules. Except when it's with silver, lead, calcium, strontium, or barium. So this is my precipitate. Checking to see if it's balanced. It is balanced. Okay, so this is my molecular equation. Okay, the total ionic is going to show these in solution. We're going to assume that these are all in solution. going to form the magnesium chloride, which is in solution, 
and the calcium sulfate, which is in, um, which is a precipitate. Okay. Ions that are the same on the product and the reactant side, those are my spectators. The magnesium ion and the chloride ion. So to write my net ionic, I only write the ions that are involved in the reaction. That would be my calcium and my sulfate reacting to form calcium sulfate, which is the solid. And that ends the screencast.